Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and finally, finally I'm back with another exciting technical series. Uh, it's really happy, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, it's like for last five months I couldn't upload a video. So I was busy uh, preparing this course uh, and this study for sure that's one of the reason and also i was busy on some other stuff so i couldn't uh, make it possible to upload a video i'm really really sorry for that but finally this time i'm back with a very exciting course uh, like i said uh, you are going to learn a lot of things the series is going to uh, going to be long so there will be a lot of videos and the course that we are going to learn is service now okay now before going into service now first of all i want to thank all of my 1600 plus subscribers for supporting me and motivating me loving me i really really uh, thankful for all of you and also making my uh, two of my you know uh, playlist that is uh, one is windows server 2016 and another one is cloud computing with microsoft azure thank you for supporting those uh, playlists supporting those videos uh, under the playlist really 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 helpful for that and please keep doing it uh, i would i will try my best to reply as soon as possible okay maximum it can take to 7 days otherwise like i would try to reply like i said as soon as i can all right okay now let's jump into the service now so in today's video we will just discuss about the uh, it's an introduction video like you know that before starting off any technical series i come in front of the camera and i say a few things about what we are going to do what we're going to learn blah 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 so <laughs> that's something we are going to do so service now we have a we have a uh, videos that's coming what is service now and stuff uh, later but uh, just to give you an idea because uh, you would understand you will you would ask me like pritam okay fine we are going to learn a exciting technical series you said but what is that give some idea so let me give you a practical example uh, like what i personally prefer that you know you have seen on all my videos i personally prefer practical example so that you can uh, understand this thing understand the concept okay now let's take your home router so your home router is not working all right and you have called isp to uh, report a complaint that it is not working you need to uh, do your work so the issue should resolve right so in such case the isp provider like the geo fiber it can be airtel anything so they can give you or they generally give you a ticket number or the record number informing that sir or madam uh, we have logged this ticket for you a case for you maybe uh, so the support technician will connect you and fix this issue for you so that record that record there are chances of 70 to 80 percent that that record are generated from the cloud computing platform one of the popular service now so service now is giving you the platform where you can generate record create record actually uh, and you know uh, filter records you can uh, do a lot of things like change problem management you can get, create custom application you can create virtual bot that thing we are talking about that thing we are going to learn in the whole service now series so it's gonna be very very interesting and it's you are gonna learn a lot of things we will explore the whole service now now the definition of you know so-called bookish definition says that service now is a cloud computing platform which provides a digital workflow to the enterprises but let me tell you if you are thinking that service now is something which is only used in it sector that's wrong my friend service now is being used in different different sectors like it can be a hospital it can be a uh, colleges it can be a, a what what could you say like it could be financial sector it could be different different areas so we will we will see the different services of service now in my upcoming videos but if you understand service now if you learn service now if you get certified also so if you watch this complete video series after that you can apply for service now uh, system certified uh, certification that is the authorized one so that's a very very important certification now if you become a certified administrator and if you then you can move or you can you can go for a job about service now consultant and in different different sector like i mentioned so everywhere service now is increasing everyone is using service now every sector is using service now and the use of service now is getting you know the graph is getting higher so now for the time being you understand service now is a platform where it's service now is a 
basically service now is a company which is giving you the platform now we got an idea about service now now let's see quickly let let's jump into my laptop top and see what we are going to learn throughout this course okay let's get okay so i am in my laptop screen now and here we are going to see that what are the things or what are the topics what are the sections we are going to cover throughout this course okay so let's see so first service now overview definitely we will learn about what is service now very importantly in the next video and then definitely uh, releases service now different releases of service now uh, the personal development environment that the that's the developer instance that you are going to get and i'll show you how you are going to get it for free so yes there is no hidden charge nothing here and you don't need a credit card like in azure um, i have shown you that you um, need to have a credit card to create azure free account but here it's free and all you need a gmail account that's it or an email account so you can continue with that and you can have the instance so with the help of the instance uh, you can practically uh, practice those stuff which uh, i'm gonna show you so i will in the video i will also uh, do the practical stuff most of the time and uh, on my own personal developer instance and then you can follow that and you can explore other things also right uh, because the video would be for 10 to 15 minutes but you can explore the rest of the day and wherever you want all right then list and forms filter and search condition builder context menu modifying list and forms everything we will cover under service now overview and each of this video would be or each of this topic rather would be in a different video so it's it would be very easy for you to understand all right next we have the customization it is very very important so in service now there are few things that you cannot configure rest of the things you can configure you can customize in your own way isn't it good so service now is giving opportunity they are giving the platform to you now they are asking that you can do it or you can configure it you can customize it in your own way as per your needs so we will see for doing customization what are the things we require what are the things are helping us for an example server side client side ui policy ui actions business rules client scripts data policies and script includes update sets and plugins each one of these are very important for the customization next we will see table and fields and let me tell you in service now everything considered every records everything stores in a table so table is a huge part of service now and uh, once we will do the discussion you will understand it then we'll see fields and field type table structure and schema map and finally we are going to create table and field inside of service now you're going to do that all right then under user administration which is very very important we will see user groups how we can create users groups uh, then we can add the users in the group how we can assign roles what are the roles available then access control Louis, is very important acl what are the acl are available in service now how you can use it then ldap sso and my one of my favorite impersonation option and finally we'll end the user administration with the client scripts Okay, now the most important thing that we are gonna discuss the core applications of service now, which are very, very popular, like incident management is one of the more pop most popular thing in service now. Then we have service level agreement, SLA, problem management, change management, configuration management, service catalog, knowledge management, service portal. We will see each individual in a different video. Okay. And finally, we will have the system administration things. So we will see how we can configure and uh, do the configuration of service now and system properties dashboard and self service diagnostics and troubleshooting events and notifications very very important workflows import sets reporting now this is not the end so we have two bonus courses for you so one is building a custom app so yes you are going to build a custom application inside of service now isn't it great and also create a chat bot so chatbot that would be a basic chatbot but inside of service now you will create that all you all we need to do is inside uh, service now we need to uh, plug in we need to have a plugin so after that we would be able to do that so isn't it interesting sounds good let's go back so isn't it interesting so these all are the topics we are going to cover and we are going to learn and after that also after creating the application chatbot 
we i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you like how you can prepare or how you can you know prepare questions for system service now administration i'll show you some demo questions and stuff that are available on internet how you can practice those things and everything so don't worry just follow with me learn and help other people to learn right now now very important thing that you might be thinking like pritam okay these are the stuff are there so you have uh, create application chatbot so generally we need programming or coding language for doing that right yes but here in service now you don't need to do that so service now system administrator all the courses all the topics that you are going to learn from here you don't need any programming to clear the examination okay service now system certified administrator does not require any programming concept if you have a programming knowledge very good you would understand things that's fine but without having the knowledge also absolutely okay you can clear your exam and you can learn a lot of things maybe after learning this course you may have interest in programming that can happen for sure because so after service now administration you um, i mean like if you want to explore your career you can go for service now developer and there you need programming for sure but for this course you don't need any programming concept so don't worry and if you have any issue understanding anything ask me in the comment section of all the videos okay so this is it guys for today i have just i believe i have explained you what we are going to do and i'm sure you are excited like i am so we'll see on tuesday and where we will start exploring service now you'll understand what is service now history of service now blah 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 all right so see you on tuesday take care bye bye and wait 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 don't go if you're new in this channel and you can see the red button if it is not pressed please click the red button and subscribe my channel and also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get notified when i post a new videos now you can go thank you bye bye take care